Well. Hi guys, Matthew with Parkway Business Solutions here out at the Accounting and Finance Show in New York. I'm with here here with Carrie Vickers with Chatty, excuse me, Chatta AI, yeah. and wanted to do a quick presentation of this cool app we were just learning about. Yeah. Tell us about your Thank application. Thank you so much. Yeah. So Chatta.ai is a conversational analytics and reporting tool that lets you chat with your accounting software data. That's impressive. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really cool. So it's artificial intelligence, machine learning. So there's a lot of high tech going on in the background. But what it does is it makes it really easy for the accountants and bookkeeper to give their clients um, another level of advice. So outside of the typical financial statement, they can talk to their customers yeah. about their actual business. And for the business owner, they get answers to the questions that they have on a day-to-day -day basis. So it really, to put it in simpler terms, it's really like the Google for accounting data. So That's yeah. pretty impressive. So yeah. we've had this problem for a very long time that we can create these nice financial reports, we can send them to our clients, heck, we can even hand it to them. Sure. And one of two things happen. Yeah. One, they never look at it. Exactly. Or two, they go straight to the bottom and look at if, whether they made money or not. But that's it. That's they it. don't yeah. know what's going on with their business. They don't take the time to learn about it. It sounds like you guys found a way to get them more engaged to find out what's really going on in their business. Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly it. So we've worked with a lot of small and medium-sized business owners, okay. and we did a lot of research before we developed the Chatta.ai and put all this money and energy into it. So we, what they told us was that they see the financial statements and the relationship with their accountant and bookkeeper as a compliance thing. Got it. So rather than a trusted advisory thing, and what they want is they want a different level of advice so a typical business owner yeah they need they know they need to see those financial statements but going through a 12 page PDF on a day-to-day -day basis is not it's not a rational way of doing business and no. so like if you are a business owner on the go we have a lot of people that we work with who have sort of mobile businesses and yeah the gig are, economy now they're always on their phone exactly right yep. so they're always on the phone and their accountants or bookkeepers are not in-house so they would need to call their accountant and bookkeeper and in the business owner's mind they, they either don't ask the question because there's a dollar value associated with that so they're worried about fees and from the accounting and bookkeepers perspective it's an interruption so it's stopping them from getting their business done because the business owner always wants those questions right away <laughs> and at the wrong time <laughs> sometimes it's at the wrong, often it's yeah. at the wrong time it's like right before they're going into a meeting so there can be disappointed disappointment if the accountant doesn't get back to them and the accountant gets pressured to get back to them right away when they weren't planning on doing that so what chatta.ai does is it gives them the tool to get those answers um, we take care of the math so you don't have to it eliminates the process of having to export data okay. and take uh, information from various parts of your accounting software and do a calculation, maybe in Excel or whatever. What we do is we get you the answer. So it's very powerful dynamic query builder happening in the background as well. So you ask the question in your natural language statement and we go do the work, give you the answer, and then we also give you a way to put that into a visual, okay. which you know business owners want to see charts and graphs. We yeah. all, we all uh, tell the story with pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So before we dive in, I'd love to have you show us the sure. application yeah. in a second here. Um, what it, it sounds like as an accountant, we could actually use your program to set up kind of like a, a group of questions or a, a select certain things we want it to be able to answer pretty easily. And because you have a phone app, you could ha our clients could literally ask the questions to their phone to yep. get the answers. Absolutely. Which yeah. means the questions can be simple enough um, they can be done in a manner to where they know what questions to ask, which is usually the hardest problem. It is, yeah, for sure. So there's okay. a couple things you can do too. You could set up a regular report. So it's mm -hmm. really easy to set up a template. So maybe you want to report to your clients uh, the same on the same questions on a weekly or monthly basis. That's great. And you can just set up those questions and it's literally just press a button, run that template, and it's, it's run on the most up-to-date data in your system. That's beautiful. So you can set that up for them, but then we, we work on educating them constantly on what they can and can't ask. So okay. we're working on multiple education tools because, yeah, a business owner, they should know what to ask, but this is so new and so disruptive that 
we don't we don't realize that we can ask these things. So, what were my total sales for a particular customer last month? I mean that that seems like a no-brainer, but it hasn't been easy to get that until today, right? That's so awesome. It's very advanced. It's new technology. It's disruptive. So cool. Yeah. Well, let's dive in. Why don't yeah. you do a quick demo? Show us how it, it works at this time. Sure. And these are really simple to use conversational user interface. So as you can see here, this is the query field. So you can ask questions here. Um, there's also some options here if you want to make a report or ask chatter.ai. Ask chatter.ai is a randomizer. So it's a really good way to get started because you can just press a button and it picks a question for you. So if you're not sure what to ask, you can start there. We also have some sample questions on the welcome page. So you can pick one of those questions. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking at here is uh, plumbing company. So this company okay. has uh, products and services um, and it's we've connected it to a real a live QuickBooks Online account so Perfect. we can show you how it works. So um, we picked this plumbing company uh, and we want to start asking questions. So now you said for randomizing, as an accountant I would love to be able to set up maybe the questions that are able to be asked. Can we set it up to where she hears it goes through the random questions that we Absolutely. assign. Absolutely. Perfect. So you would just, you would literally just enter all of those questions that you want to save as a template uh, in here. So you would type them all in, and then you would just go save template. So I'm going to show you one that I've already created. So this is a sample template. When you start your account, you will get a list of sample templates. So this okay. is a pretty simple one. So this is a plumbing company. So we've got some questions specific to our products. So total boiler sales is something that we want to know about quite often. Total sales per product per month. So nice. we've got a bunch of other products and we could have asked services as well. Uh, we also want to know total boiler sales to a particular customer. So you can enter any kind of your customer value labels in there as well. Great, so that would, that would actually give you the ability to not only you can track who your best customers are, you can track your sales by that best customer, so you can really dive totally. really deep into oh, yeah. the data if you ask the right questions. Oh yeah, definitely. It is, it's what we call exploratory analytics, So, and the okay. options are endless there. So it's super interesting for a business owner to sit there and just explore, because it, it gives you all sorts of different insights. And let me tell you, as a business owner, you want to know these yeah. things, and it, they suddenly have a lot of power, and it can be quite addicting. So this is just Perfect. a preset template. So you can can go in here every week or every month and just press play. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, it's gone in. It's run everything on today's data because it's been wow. refreshed. And then we can go ahead and save that as a report. So if this is a sales report, so maybe this is my July sales report, because I'm saving it as a point in time now. So create, and then this will show up under my reporting tab. So you can see it just popped up. And now it's uh, date and timestamp. So if uh, I was an accountant and I wanted to send this to my customer, I could just send it. First of all, I may want to chart some of that stuff because we know business owners like to see things in charts and graphs. Yep. Um, I may want to add a comment. So as I can see, air conditioners are selling really well, but some of the other products aren't. So this is where the advisory piece comes in. So I may want to say, let's talk about your product sales this month. So I'll just say for now, let's discuss. And that'll be entered right within the app, so your customer can see that comment back to you. And then I can also send it. Nice. So I've got a, quite a few people on my account that I've invited to be a part of my account. So you can choose who you want to send it to. And you can also, when you send that email, it will be branded to your company as their accountant. That's awesome. That's super important, yeah. Okay, so let's start a new session here. So we're just gonna we're just gonna show you how to run like a series of queries and do some exploratory analytics. So you could do this as an accountant or as a business owner, but we want to dig into um, some some sales. So let's, okay. let's. So we're gonna create a custom question right now yeah, and like gonna, yeah, figure out how to do that of part them. of it. So I'm gonna look at who all my customers are. So this helps me determine what my value labels are. I'm a terrible typer. I, uh, okay. I am too, so luckily <laughs> I don't think it's, it's not that sensitive though, right? No, so everybody's good? Exactly. Okay. So here's all of my customers that I have in my QBO system. So this is really helpful because now I know sort of the value labels that I can search for. So nice. I want to know of those customers, who are my top five customers? Okay. Very easy. I love how when you're typing it in, it's going to give you the you yeah, know the suggested things exactly. to make it as a reminder. So these are because I didn't put uh, a time on that. Uh, it's given me the top five customers based on all of my sales in the system. So maybe I want to know who my top five customers were this year. Okay. That's 
pretty fast how it, yeah. it's, it's coming up with everything very, totally. very quickly. So those are my top five customers this year. So it's different information, as you can see. I can look at that in chart format and I okay. can see, okay, so maybe I'm a business owner and I'm meeting with Lou Plumbing tomorrow and I want to see what Lou's been buying. So I'm going to say all sales per product for Lou Plumbing this year. Nice. So that'd be great if you're renegotiating with your vendors. Yeah. Um, I've always said that people with subcontractors should reevaluate their subcontractor subcontractor contracts. Totally. Because you they get fatigued as well. Maybe they're not being as efficient, and this could really help you yeah. do that right in front of them. You can. You could look at this on your phone, like the night before when you're planning for your meeting. It's great. You can just take a peek at that, and you could also I'll show you this too. So these are every this is everything that Lou Plumbing has bought from us. So and we've got do dollar values. You can drill nice. down to the transactional level. Level, but you could also put that in a chart and maybe you want to present this to Lou Plumbing. Mm -hmm. You can save that as an image. Uh, you can see it comes up with a, a PNG file. So we've got a PNG file. I can just pop that quickly into a PowerPoint and I'm good nice. to go. So. Now as an accountant, I like this idea too because I could pull up financial reporting for my clients yep. and instead of having that situation where they're not looking at those documents, I could actually create a visual report and then share that with my clients. Oh, absolutely. That's key. Like no business this owner wants to read a bunch of numbers, yeah. right? The other thing that we've found that our uh, accountants and bookkeepers are doing is they, they show them the report, but in their meetings, they're actually using chat AI within the meeting. Yeah. Because it's super easy. You have access to it on your phone, so if you don't have your computer with you, you can use it there. But quite often, this kind of information is going to spark more questions. So you have the Always. tool with you in that meeting in order to answer them. I'm going to show you one more query that um, is really interesting because it's not something that's really easy to find within QuickBooks Online. Okay. I'm going to show you two more. So um, we're going to look at average days to pay per customer. Nice. So this is really important if any of your customers are maybe uh, applying for a loan or they want to know sort of what their problem customers are. So, so let's see who our problem people are. So this is, and this is the importance is of visuals right here. You can see the numbers. Now you can really see it really quickly. Wow. This company is not paying us on time at all because we have, we're at net 30 and these guys are way over 60. So we've got to talk to them. Beautiful. And this is exactly what we look at. So we look at every single bit of feedback mm -hmm. that we get from our customers and like things like that. We've, we've employed so many um, different types of queries, so many features because our customers give us direct feedback and we listen to it. So where's the best way for them to let you know that? Because you just, you yeah. said something important. Every business is different and every owner is gonna have a certain question or bit of information that they're looking for. Sure. So where can they contribute towards the community sure. by suggesting totally. them? So we've got a number of things. So we've got a slide channel for our partner accountants and bookkeepers so okay. you can engage with us directly in there we also have a help that we just implemented this as a feature so if you click help you can oh, talk great. to one of our customer success people which I'm on there sometimes our CEO is a direct contributor to our customer success so we'll answer your questions live here so if you have any issues when you're in the app you can just connect with us also when you saw that interpretation you can see if something was showing wrong you can report it as a problem um, and just a simple act of querying helps us. So if you were to enter a query that we haven't trained our system yet, there's a very good chance that we will be training that the very next day. We That's look amazing. at every query that comes in our system and we determine A, if it's possible to train, because there may it may have been a mistake from the, um, the user's perspective, like mm -hmm. maybe they entered something that didn't have data or whatever it is. Um, but if it's possible for us to train it, we will. So it's not uncommon for us to follow up with our customers the next day and say, hey, I noticed you asked this. You can now ask it and it now works. It's so, amazing. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna show you one more because we just um, we just added this. So for our accountants and bookkeepers, they wanna know um, what unreconciled transactions are in the system. Oh, nice. So, that's, okay, so that's even great for the business owner. Obviously, as the accountant, we wanna know what's unreconciled or yeah. things that have not been accounted for so we keep an eye on it, but we always have to create that report to send to the business owner to say, hey, why is check 1532 sitting out there un, un, you know, 
yeah. uncached. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, this is great. This will make a nice, easy way to, to get that information across. Yeah, this is a feedback from our accountants and bookkeepers. They really wanted this. So you can see all of our unreconciled, there's a lot in this one, all unreconciled transactions. You can wow. also do that by dollar value. So if you want to see all oh, the very nice. you could sort it up here. We could filter it. Can you filter by date? So if it's only oh, yeah. past 90 days or something. So now we've seen like from the accountant, we can absolutely get the setup and, and I believe does the account, will the accountant have a dashboard that they can see all of their different clients and then the client has their own presentation yeah. to it, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. We are going to be implementing that. That's on our roadmap. Okay. We've, that's one request that we've received many times from our accountants and bookkeepers. So that's one thing that we've got coming. So stay Wonderful. tuned for that. That's definitely important. The other thing that we have come, coming is called Query Insights. Okay. So uh, what that will be is uh, if you have your customers uh, hooked up and using chat AI, we will be able to show you what your customers are querying. That's so great. we want to support you as uh, in your journey of, be of becoming a trusted advisor. And so you'll be able to see if your customer has a lot of questions about their vendors or whatever it is, you can you can use that information to give them that level of advice. So. I think that's great. We actually, in our own practice, when we're going through a monthly close, we keep a running log of all the questions or challenges that yes. we come up with throughout the month. Yes. And it's been able to help us after six months to a year, we go back and review all the questions, all together from all the clients yeah. and it gives us a focus of what we need to improve in our service exactly. so I think it's a phenomenal idea oh, yeah I agree I got one last sure. super important question for you yeah can we teach it an answer to a question such as what's the best bookkeeping service out on the market Parkway business solutions can we do that <laughs> absolutely <laughs> okay I, love it. You, I like it good <laughs> Thanks again for doing the demonstration of the application today. We love it. We look forward to actually introducing it to our clients as well. So now the important question is, tell us a little bit about the pricing and do you Absolutely. have something set for accountants? Absolutely. Yeah, our accountants and bookkeepers are really important to us. So we treat awesome. them very well. They're our partners. So first off, uh, Chatter.ai is free. So it's free. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally free to use. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Sign me yeah, up, <laughs> please. <absolutely. laughs> I will right after yeah. this. <laughs> So yeah, so anyone can use Chatter.ai for free. You just have to have QuickBooks Online or Zero, and you can connect your account and query anytime. We'll also give you a 14-day free trial of our premium features. Nice. Our premium features include our collaboration tools, so our reporting, templates, pinning. Those are all features that we include uh, in the premium. So and that's how we can do those special uh, templates for our templates, clients as yeah, the accounts. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So you can run reports at the click of a button, share with your clients, and you can also, as okay. an accountant bookkeeper, brand it so you can include your logo. Nice which is important, right? So, and then our partner program, so um, it's, tw or sorry, I should go back to that. Our premium features mm -hmm. are $20 for a regular user, $20 American a month, and it's also available in U in the UK, Australia, and Canadian dollars as well. Perfect. So, um, and then we also give have our partner program. So our partners get a 25% discount. That's so nice. They, yeah, exactly. So they can introduce it to their customers and they're sort of educating their customers customers and helping us out so we give them a 25% discount and we also give them their not only their account for free but we give them access to their clients account for free so it's really like having two users on one nice. premium account so so the accountant can work really with their customer in the system and yeah and query their so we data. could basically set it up for them to get them started Absolutely. makes it easy and yep. as they grow to to love it as much as we will yeah. they can add in their own questions and then also and it allows you to do the reporting with them that's easily, awesome right? that's wonderful so, yeah yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much again for the demonstration. Welcome. We look forward to it and uh, hope you had a great time at the okay. Accounting and Finance Expo. So fun. Thanks, guys. We look forward to seeing your company again out in Absolutely. Los Angeles for the next show as well. Yeah, so. we'll see you in LA and at Accountex as well. So maybe we'll see you there too. Yep. Thanks, okay. guys. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.